everybody here we will be talking about control rc degree circuit for half wave and full wave input basically sr can be triggered by forward voltage triggering uh dv by dt triggering gate triggering and light triggering in this method we are using gate triggering method to turn on sr this is a circuit diagram for rc triggering circuit for full wave here, our aim is to study and fabricate the CR Tigrin circuit and obtain AC phase control using RC Tigrin for full wave rectifier circuit. The apparatus used in this experiment are given here. Now, if I go with procedure, our connections are made as per the circuit diagram. Verify the circuit diagram before giving supply. Measure the gate current corresponding to the change in fire angle of the circuit by varying potentiometer from minimum to maximum and observe the graph from CRO, plot the graph for different fine angle as per the tabulated data and from the output waveform we calculate the fine angle. Uh, this is a full and complete uh, circuit connections of RC fine circuit and for full wave we have connected a bridge rectifier and from this end we have connected a load and from load uh, to anode of the SCR we have uh, given a connection <coughs> and from uh, one k of a load we have connected in series with a potentiometer to vary the firing angle and from potentiometer we have connected to a emitter and from emitter we have we can back uh, connected to a gate and from gate we have connected to a capacitor and from cathode we have connected to the ground and this is a Oh, this is a full circuit connections of RC fine circuit with full wave input. To obtain the input waveform, we can connect CRO probe directly to the transformer that is live and neutral of the transformer. And from the circuit, after giving a connection, we can get the waveform as shown in the CRO. To see the output waveform of RC fine circuit for a full wave, we have to connect the oscilloscope probe to a load. It's a load, and this is our output uh, waveform for the full wave. And <clears throat> to vary the fire angle, we use a potentiometer to vary the fire angle. Uh, this is for 18 degree a fire angle and as we vary the potentiometer the fire angle increases uh, in this waveform each division represents 18 degree fire angle and this uh, waveform is for 90 degree uh, this is a waveform with a fire angle 180 degree since uh, RC firing circuit works for only 0 to 180 degree after that it cannot trigger uh, this is our recorded table for firing angle and gate current of the experiment and this is a graph of a fire angle 18 degree uh, 36 degree and it is a uh, of uh, 772 degree 126 degree and then 144 degree that are all plotted in a graph of the experiment when it comes to precautions circuit connections should be neat and tight so that there won't be error at the output end a connection should be verified before giving supply by twitter always use rated element to prevent the element from damages So in RC full wave firing circuit, we make connections as per the circuit diagram. We observe from the circuit diagram that RC triggering circuit is the same as our firing circuit if uncontrolled bridge is not given. In order to observe the full wave of RC triggering circuit, the supply to the thyristor is given through the uncontrolled rectifier. We finally came to know that both the half wave are positive half wave cycle to the thyristor. 
to observe the firing angle waveform in RC circuit. Similarly, like uh, our circuit, we vary the resistance that is a potentiometer for minimum to maximum value. When the resistance value of potentiometer is zero, the value of firing angle to, the, to observe is also minimum. As we increase the value of potentiometer, the alpha also increases. Hence, we observe that for full wave RC firing circuit, we can vary the firing angle between 0 to 180 degree. Uh, we conclude that full wave RC firing circuit is supplied with uncontrolled bridge rectifier to the thyristor. In this experiment, the capacitor is start charging in every half cycle at the beginning. Whenever the capacitor voltage reaches to the value greater than Vg minimum, the thyristor turn on. Once the thyristor turn on, the capacitor voltage is clamped to zero till next half cycle. The capacitor again start charging from zero here in rc degree circuit the fire angle can be varied from zero to 180 degree after completing this experiment we are more clear about how it practically trigger this experiment enhance power electronics world thank you uh, now let's, let's talk about uh, half wave rc firing circuit so we know that here in half wave rc firing circuit the firing angle can be controlled from 0 to 180 degree. Uh, capacitor ch charges during negative half cycle. The capacitor present here is being charged during negative half cycle. Negative half cycle. During negative half cycle, the diode here blocks negative voltage appearing across the gate terminal here. The ACR triggers when capacitor voltage is greater than Vg minimum during positive half cycle. So it says that uh, when capacitor voltage is greater than Vg minimum, minimum, the ACR is being triggered during positive half cycle. This is the ability required for the half wave RC firing circuit. Moving on to the procedure, connections are made as per the circuit diagram. The circuit connection is verified by the lecturer. Then supply, supply is switched on. The port is gradually varied from minimum to maximum position corresponding emitter readings are noted and tabulated in terminal columns. Observe the load voltage wave form in CRO and draw the waveform. From input wave connector register, then the rest goes to the anode of the ACR. Then from anode of ACR, then we have uh, connected a potentiometer. The end of the potentiometer is connected to the emitter. The negative, uh, negative side of emitter is being connected to the diode and the then diode is connected to ground of the ACR. From the midpoint of uh, ACR and uh, diode, we have connected capacitor. Uh, then the ca <coughs> then the capacitor is being connected to the cathode part of the ACR. Then from the connection uh, from the capacitor end and <coughs> cathode end of ACR, we have con uh, connected a transformer. Uh, this is the output to be probably observed on the scope, uh, but we can change uh, the shape of output waveform by varying the potentiometer so when we vary the potentiometer the waveform changes see that there is a change in waveform and um, every division here represents uh, every division on x-axis represents 18 degree so now we can see that there is a change in waveform at, at the same time we can see that uh, the see that from y axis here y point of y axis there is uh, the starting of the wave is have moved to three division of the x point here this is a waveform for firing angle 54 degree uh, this is a waveform for firing angle 90 degree and this is a firing angle for 
126 degree. Okay. In this table, we have obtained the value of uh, IG current in reading in emitter and uh, uh, firing angle in oscilloscope. Uh, this is the firing angle, and the, this is the corresponding emitter reading. So the reading from Oslo we have seen that the V peak we obtained is 6.25 volt. So to calculate the V peak to peak we have uh, multiplied uh, V peak times two. So we here we obtained is 12.5 volts and the frequency is 50.02 hertz. Uh, this is the input waveform that we obtained on the Oslo so when the fine angles is it is changed to 18 degree here we can see the waveform uh, when the firing angle is changed to 72 degree this is the waveform that we obtained on the oscilloscope uh, when the firing angle is changed to 144 degree this is the waveform that we have obtained on the oscilloscope uh, from the above half RC half wave uh, firing circuit. In RC half wave circuit, we made connection as part of the circuit diagram. We observed from the circuit diagram that RC ticket circuit is same as R firing circuit if uncontrolled pitch is not given. In order to observe the full wave of RC triggering circuit. The supply to the thyristor is given for the uncontrolled rectifier. We finally came to know that both the half wave and positive half cycle of thyristor. To observe the firing angle waveform in the RC circuit, similarly like R circuit, we varied resistance in potentiometer from minimum to maximum value. When the resistance value of potentiometer is zero, the value of firing angle to observe is also minimum. As we increase the value of potentiometer, the firing angle alpha also increases. Hence, we observe that from full wave RC firing circuit.